The letter is written by a camper to her counsellor. Dearest, you're probably shocked to get this letter from me. Three years have passed since I've seen you last. You didn't think you'd ever get a letter from me. Though I'm sure you remember who I am. I quite liked you a lot as a person, but I never accepted what you told us. I always thought of you as a religious fanatic. You were always so nice to me. We got along well, but I just never wanted to hear about religion. I could still see your hurt face when you walked into the bunkhouse and saw me reading a magazine that was not for a bus stroll. I don't know if you remember, you sat on my bed, held my hand tightly, and looked at me. You didn't say anything. You just looked sad and held my hand. Things have changed a lot since then. Yes, I'm writing to you now, and I'm still lying in bed in the same position as you left me three years ago. My hand is still stretched forward, and I want you to hold it tight again. This time, I want you to look at me with a happy face. I want you to be proud of me. I just went through a terrible accident. I'm lying here in bed forever. I'm paralyzed on the right side of my body. I can't move. I can't talk so well, but my hand can still write. And it's this hand that I stretch out to you. The doctors say that my case is a lost case, no recovering. But I think that this accident was the biggest recovery in my life. I'm not sad anymore. I learned a lesson. It was the hard way, but I learned. I lie here motionless. I think about all those days that I was able to laugh, to talk, to run, to sing, to dance, to play, to pray, to do mitzvahs, to help people, to thank Hashem for everything, every single movement that he gave me. But I lie here and cry as I think of what I did with those happy days. I dirtied my ears. I ruined my eyes. I looked and listened to pictures, music, books, and movies that I shouldn't have. My mouth, the most precious tool that Hashem gave us, I used for words, curses and songs that should not enter a busy swell's mouth. I still see your sad look in front of my face. I still see you sitting on my bed. I still see your tears rolling down. And I see the disappointment. But how can a motionless mouth fix all the words that is said? How can it dive in all the beautiful thrillers? How can it make up for all the years that went to waste? How can a dead body correct all the precious time that was used to ruin my neshama? There is no recovery, the doctors say, but my neshama is shouting. I feel it. I feel it pounding. There must be a way to fix everything. It was last night that I found the way, and therefore I pushed myself to write this letter. I want you to tell people my story. I want them to know. I don't want them to miss the boat. Tell them, please tell them, that as long as they can move and sing and dance and run and talk and listen and laugh, let them use it in the right manner. Don't waste time. Sing and thank Hashem for all that he gave you. Use every moment that you have to clean your neshama. Help others. Yes, I know that there are people out there who think they're cool and in, and they talk about singers and films with the greatest admiration. I know this because I once was also one of those cool people. I'm lying now in my bed. My body is stiff and very cool. I want all people out there to get the message. That's my only recovery. I want them to take the most wonderful body that Hashem gave us and returned it as a polished diamond with love. But boy said this lesson is a chizuk for all of us. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.